Hi everyone, I'm Hannah from Circus Central Newcastle and today I'm going to show you how to make this amazing ruff. Now a ruff is a piece of traditional circus costume that clowns would wear. They still do now, not as much, but traditionally this is what they would wear as part of their costume in the circus ring. I have my very own ruff here which was made um, to me by a very amazing costume designer called Rosie Bristow. This is made with a lot of fabric. Um, you guys won't be needing that much fabric. We're gonna make it super simple, really accessible, and I hope you enjoy. I have my embroidery needle and thread here, the same colour as my colour palette for my rough, so it all matches, fabric scissors and a ruler. A tape measure would be better as we'll need a lot of lengths. For my fabric I've chosen three different types to give my rough a lot of texture. I've chosen colours that match each other but you can choose whatever you would like. The grey fabric is actually old pyjama bottoms so don't worry if you've got no fancy fabric anything will do. I've chosen purple matching embroidery thread to go with my colour palette. Embroidery thread is really strong so it'll hold up very nicely. So now we have all of our ingredients to make our rough. All we need to do now is measure out the fabric that we need. Uh, this scrap was actually already measured out from a rough and it is measured at 100 centimeters long. This is quite a nice length as it doesn't mean there's gonna be a lot of uh, fabric gather and it fits around the neck nicely without it feeling too constrained. When measuring out your fabric, make sure you have one piece that will have a little bit extra length on each side. This is gonna be the top piece and it's gonna make the bow for your ruff. <laughs> When choosing material for your fabric, it's really nice to incorporate things with different textures. As you can see, this fabric is quite shiny, it's really nice, it's quite tough, it's not as stretchy, so that will give it a really nice texture in the rough. Also things that reflect light will make it look super pretty around your face and bring lots of light to your face. So once we have all three pieces of our fabric, we're gonna choose which ones we want to put on top and which ones we want in the middle. So this one's a super nice soft fabric, it's stretchy. This is actually gonna be perfect for sitting around the neck. Remember, the fabric that is on the bottom is gonna be the one that's gonna be on your neck, it's gonna to be touching your skin. So make sure you choose a super comfortable fabric for that. I'm just trimming off all of the rough edges as I cut it quite quickly. You can keep your rough rough, <laughs> no pun intended, or you can make it quite neat. It's all up to you and the style that you'd prefer. So now you have your prepared pieces of fabric, you wanna choose which side is the right side. I'm going with this side as it's a bit brighter and it has a better texture. So with that, I'm going to make sure the right side, which is gonna be the pattern side, is facing down on the table. Then I'm gonna lay all of my strips of fabric on top of each other, making sure that whatever I put on the top is gonna be the piece that I would like in the middle. So looking at this video here, I've got the white fabric on the table. That's the piece that's going to be touching my skin. 
I've got the purple in the middle to give it some weight and then I'm using this gorgeous pink fabric in the very very top which is going to be the very middle to give it lots of bounce and lots of texture and I'm just going to lay that on top there. Now to use our little straps, so the pieces of fabric that will hold the ruff onto our neck and we'll tie behind in a bow, you want to choose your top piece of fabric to have a little bit of extra length on each side. So as you can see, I've got two little tiny pieces of fabric hanging out the side and that's gonna make the bow that will tie around our neck. Now what you wanna do is you want to fold your pieces in half and then pin them all together. So when pinning, I've made sure to leave out those extra bits of fabric it's to make sure that I have my bow at the end to tie around my neck with. Don't worry if you don't have excess fabric, you can always add on little bits of ribbon or extra fabric at the very end once your bow is all finished. When I'm preparing my thread to sew, I'm making sure I have a super long piece enough for it to travel through the whole length of the fabric and not get stuck in the middle and have to gather while I'm sewing. The gathering of the fabric will happen at the very end and it'll make the job a lot easier. Make sure when you're tying your knot, it's super big, super chunky, because you don't want to gather your rough at the end and for the knot to come out. It needs to be super strong and stable. Now, as we sew, what you need to do first is first use your anchor sew, your anchor knot, and you're just gonna go up through all of the bunches of fabric, keeping about um, one centimeter to half a centimeter from the crease. So this is my anchor knot. Then for the rest of the process, I'm just gonna put my needle in and out. That is all this pattern is. It's a super simple sew, so I'm going in and I'm going out like so. Haha, <laughs> like so, do you get it? Please be aware that needles are really, really, really sharp. Um, we don't want you to injure yourself whilst doing this project and if you need any extra help please do ask someone else to help you uh, or get a thimble. Thimbles are really cool and they stop you from pricking yourselves. fabric we're going to go ahead and take out our pins we don't need them anymore they did their job for keeping all our fabric safe then once we've done that comes the fun part we're going to keep a hold of the thread that we have just used and we're going to bunch up and gather all of the fabric into our desired ruffles <laughs> desired thickness and length of the rough I like to go ahead and pull it and fluff it up a bit making sure all the beautiful fabrics can be seen you can do this by just literally like I'm doing there is pulling apart the fabrics sometimes um, depending on your fabric you can wedge it in between like I'm doing with this white one I'm really pulling it up and wedging it in between the seams and that's going to give it a lot more texture and thickness as well. Once 
and sour rough is at our desired puffiness we're going to trim off the excess fabric you don't have to do this this is just my preference to make sure that all of the fabric can be seen in the rough now what we need to do uh, is actually trim off the excess thread now so what we need to do is just tie off the final sew by uh, giving it a couple more sews and tying it off then once you've done that your rough is complete <laughs> So much for taking part guys if you've made your own rough please show us and share with us on all of our facebook platforms with active newcastle and circus central also keep a lookout for more videos like these where you can be part of the circus from your own home bye